Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from Slidenerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about superclass, subclass typecasting related to Java. Now, in the previous video, I did talk about superclasses and subclasses and how superclass variables can point to subclass objects. We took a look at how this was possible. In this video, let's try and explore how we can use this with typecasting to create some weird looking stuff in Java. So the first thing that we have is three different classes. There is person, there's a student, and there's a graduate student. If you see a person, it has properties like name, age, address, and there are methods like print info, which is nothing but printing all the information of like name, age, and address outside. Then there's the class student, which is a subclass of person. If you see that it has the properties name, age, and address that is inherited from the person, then it has its own properties like roll number and marks which belong to itself. Again, if you see the method print info is inherited from the superclass and there's get marks which belongs to itself. Then there's the graduate student which is actually a subclass of student. If you see the graduate student, what it has is name, age, address, roll number, marks which come over from the superclass. There's graduation date which is its own field out there. And then there's the print info, the get marks, and is honors method that simply tests if the guy passed with honors or not. So these are the three classes where student is a subclass of person, graduate student is a subclass of student. So now let's take a look at this property which says superclass reference variable equals subclass object. So these are the three simple ways you would create objects, right? You would say person P is new person, you would say student S is new student. Same way you would say graduate student G equals to new graduate student. Now, a person, if you take a look at this one, person over here, person P can refer to objects of itself. Great, that is nothing new about it. Person P can also refer to an object of its subclass, like student. Person P can refer to an object of graduate student because it's also an indirect subclass. Therefore, P equals S or P equals G is also perfectly fine. No problems with that. If you go further down, if you take a look at student object now, student object can refer to objects of itself, which is no problems. Student object can refer to objects of subclass, which is graduate student over here. And if you go further below to graduate student it can only refer to objects of itself so this is the basic hierarchy that exists among superclasses and subclasses the higher you go that is the superclass it can refer to more objects because it can refer to objects of its its own type plus it can refer to objects of subclasses but if you go lower it can only refer to itself so this is the issue that exists out there now the first question that you guys have probably is why would we need this? Well, let's take a look at that. Conversion between superclass and subclass. Now remember, object is the superclass of everything in Java, which means all references can be converted to type object. Now at the same time, remember this property as well. When a superclass variable contains a reference to a subclass object, which means if you talk about person P equals to new student like this, then remember that uh, this reference is used to call a method you say p dot say get info the subclass version of the method is called now this property is called dynamic method testbacks i will be talking about this property very specifically in the next video for now just keep this in mind that there is a weird property that talks about some something with methods when you talk about superclasses and subclasses and we will see what that property is in the next video so why would anyone want this? Let's go to NetBeans and try to figure out what this typecasting stuff is all about and what can be done with this typecasting. Alright, so I have NetBeans running here. There's a class person, there's a class student that extends person, and then there's the class graduate student that extends student. At the topmost level inside my main method, I've created simple objects of all of them. Now, next what I'm trying to do is create all possible combinations, that is, I'm saying person P2 is new student, person P3 is new graduate student, then I say student S2 is new person, student S3 is new graduate student, and then I do the same with graduate student as well. It is all possible combinations of creating objects between them. Now if you notice, under certain statements there are no errors, 
but in certain statements there are errors so let's take one of them which doesn't have an error and then we will take one of them which has an error and try to figure out what is exactly happening take a look at this statement which says person p2 is new student when you say this statement you're saying that there is a variable of type person which has name age address it's pointing to an object of type student on the right hand side which has name age address marks and rule number that is five properties on the right hand side every value that your variable p2 here requires on the left hand side is already present within the student object here on the right hand side so this is like the real world property where you say that all the students in the real world like you me or anyone else who is watching this video are persons in the real world this is the property which is like saying are you a student yes of course you are a person that is what you're saying so a simple way to remember that if this assignment is valid or not is count the number of properties on the left hand side count the number of properties on the right hand side if you see person person has three properties on the left if you say student a student has five properties which would be three from person and two from itself right so is the number of properties on the right more than the number of properties on the left if yes then that is perfectly fine that's what this indicates so let's take a look at this statement over here and try to figure out what is an error when you say student s2 equals to new person that you're saying that there is a student s2 with name age address marks roll number five properties who is actually pointing to an object of type person who has only three properties that is name age and address so what about the other two properties on the left because remember left side you have the reference variable right side you have the object so the reference variable is gonna have two more properties which is marks and roll number because it is of type student on the right hand side however since you have a person object a person object doesn't have those properties and hence this sort of assignment would leave two values without any valid answers and hence this assignment doesn't work it is also like saying in the real world that every person is a student which is not true because there are people out there who are not students right the same way if you look at graduate student this these two statements over here they apply the same logic over here the number of properties on the left hand side is five the number of properties on the right hand side which is person is three therefore lhs is has more properties than what your rhs can offer therefore this assignment would not be valid directly now this is the normal scenario can you make this valid that's the next question that we have let me remove some of the statements out here so let's say there is student s2 equals a new person can i have this as a valid statement i could go here and i could write a type cast over here by saying student equals to this does this kind of typecasting work let's try to print this out by saying system dot out dot print ln s2 over here shift f6 and as you notice it says exception in thread main java dot lang dot class cast exception slidener dot webs dot person that is this over here cannot be converted to slidener dot webs dot student that is this over here remember everything on the right hand side is gonna be converted to something that you have on the left hand side when you're trying to typecast with this bracket statement over here now this typecasting obviously is not valid because just because you wrote a bracket typecast over here you cannot convert a person to a student and that is why you're getting this error over here so what can you do then let's take a look at something else let me actually say person p2 over here person p2 equals to new student now notice very carefully we have a student on the right hand side we have a person variable here on the left hand side now if i go here and if i say student s2 equals to p2 notice what i'm trying to do we all know that the person already has a student object inside it and that's exactly what i'm trying to put over here at this point if i use a typecasting operator student over here and then if i run this that works that works perfectly there are no errors because in this case when we are trying to typecast p2 p2 already has a student inside it and that is why this assignment and typecasting would work perfectly now is there a way to avoid these kind of errors there is something called instance of in java which is actually an operator that lets you check if a reference variable contains an object of a certain type 
so that you can avoid these typecasting errors when someone gives you an object to play with. In the next video, we are going to take a look at this instance of operator in detail and we're going to figure out exactly what you can do and how you can avoid those errors where typecasting between objects that is the superclass and subclass objects comes into the picture. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.